Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. We will be starting our live Q&A in just a few minutes. Uh, Facebook has changed the format a little bit, so give me a few minutes here to figure out what we're doing. All right, it shows that we are live, hopefully. Uh, welcome everybody to October 2021 20, live Facebook Q&A. Um, as I said, Facebook has changed the format on how we do our live streams, so I'm trying to figure everything out, so give me a few minutes here to get started, and then I'm trying to find the chat box because the chat box has, of course, been moved. Uh, so just give me a couple seconds to get set up, and we will start doing our Q&A live. I uh, hope you guys are doing well and that you are having a happy autumn if it is in the United States or a happy spring for those of you in uh, New Zealand, Australia, and the other parts of the world. Um, we're going to get started in just a few minutes. I've got to figure out this new format. Everything is kind of screwed up. Um, we're going to try to get this started. I'm trying to find where the chat window is, and I've just found it. Perfect. All right, we'll get started in just a minute. Uh, if you have a question that you'd like ask, to ask, uh, you can feel free to ask it in the chat, and I will try my best to find it. The chat window has moved, so it's a little bit difficult to figure out where it's actually going. Uh, but just give me a few minutes here, and we'll definitely get started. I hope everyone's doing well, and you all can hear me okay. Um, this is a bit different. I'm not sure what's going on with our with our stream. All right, so we've got a lot of great questions. A lot of you have asked. Um, if you'd like to ask a question in the chat, let me know, and I will uh, try to read it the best I can. As I said, they have changed the format on here, so everything is kind of messed up. Uh, but welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to be answering a bunch of questions that people have asked us, and we'll uh, answer some questions in the chat. Uh, I want to get started by letting you know, uh, as you know, November is right around the corner, and right after to uh, try to start relationships online now so that they can uh, gain your trust and then ask you for money as uh, time gets closer to Christmas so just be very aware of that um, please know that you know people are getting bombarded with fake profiles it is the time of year where scammers really push to get that last chunk of money before the new year so just please please keep that in mind please be ultra vigilant um, hi everyone that's entering the chat. Um, can we show the live? Yes, you're more than welcome to show the live. We'll also put this live stream on our YouTube channel, Scamming Scammers, after it's finished. So in case you missed it or you want to share the link or share the link from Facebook, you're more than welcome to do so. We encourage people to share our information with others so that they can um, help others and prevent them from being scammed as well. Um, Couple of answers to questions in the chat. Can you help me out? My mother-in-law is likely being scammed. Uh, absolutely, we're happy to help you. If you want to inbox us, click message at the top of our page. Uh, that'll bring you to our private inbox, and then we will help you as soon as possible. Try to sort through what's going on and uh, try to help you out. So if you most popular stolen photo that's being used right now in online romance scams and last month I was complaining a lot about Dr. Pinto so as you know Dr. Pinto's photos are used all the time um, and they're used in a lot of fake profiles however uh, I've noticed and I know a lot of you probably have noticed that Jim Newman the guy that used to be in the village people um, his photos are being used now more than ever in fake scam profiles he has become the new it guy. He has become the new popular popular guy. Um, just keep in mind, Jim Newman, if you don't know who he is, he has a verified Instagram profile. He's a very popular celebrity. He was in The Village People. Um, he's very openly gay. Um, I believe he has a partner. Uh, he has photos of him and his partner together quite often. Scammers love to steal his photos because he is you know a very well built very good looking older gentleman and a lot of women unfortunately fall for um, his photos so that's the new photos that scammers are using now is Jim Newman and if you google him you'll find all his photos you'll find his Instagram and you know he he's very popular with the gay community as well and he posts tons of photos of himself on his Instagram and that's where scammers are getting all the photos from so be very careful when you um, 
see photos of Jim Newman, it's always going to be a scammer. The real man is not chatting to women online. He's not chatting to women at all for romance. So it's just something to remember. Uh, Dylan, I was wondering what I should do since someone's pretending to be me. The best thing you can do if someone is using your name and photos is to report the profile as pretending to be me, if that option is still there, um, or just continue to report the profile. Uh, unfortunately, with Facebook, when you report a profile, 90% of the time it doesn't get removed, so you'll have to report it four, five, six, maybe even ten times. But if the option is there as pretending to be me, than just flagging it as a fake profile. So give that a try, but again, it might take you several times to get the profile removed, unfortunately. Uh, but everybody, please bear in mind, I've been scammed. They sell your name to other scammers. They Like so, um, it, it's rare for scammers to to buy things other than buying profiles. They do. And it's out there in, in the world. So um, that's why if you encounter one scammer and you block them, you'll probably get 50 more that come at you because your information has been put out there um, and especially if you have paid money was when I report profiles for being fake, Facebook does not remove them. Why and how can I get these people Facebook reporting system is basically done on a robot basis. I mean, there are people that review profiles, but it, it's it's basically done just on a mass system, automated system. So we've had profiles that were pretending to be Mark Zuckerberg that came back and said, no, they're fine. Everything's fine. It's not a fake profile. Um, sometimes it takes lots of people mass reporting them to get them removed. And that's one of the quicker ways to get a fake profile removed is if, say, 100 people report the profile, Facebook gets a flag and they're like, oh, something's wrong. And then sometimes they remove it. But unfortunately, 90% of the time, they're going to tell you, no, it doesn't violate community standards. Um, it, it's, you know, Facebook's not for safety. They're for money. It's all about money, and you know that. So it's frustrating. And also to keep in mind one thing. If you get a fake profile removed, that doesn't stop the scammer. That only... ...prove that you've stopped a scammer, you've not. You've just inconvenienced him for five minutes, and he taps in a new profile and that's it's frustrating but that's kind of how it is and, and how it always is uh Leela, i noticed scams, the ones that are using fake soldier profiles, engineers, widows, they're from Ghana, they're from Nigeria. Um, it's frustrating, but it's it's kind of how it is, you know. It, it's, I mean, we have scammers from India, we have scammers from the U.S. and from Australia, from Pakistan, but people don't, people get upset with me and they say, well, all you feature is West Africans. And it's like, well, because that's who we find. A lot of them do the romance scamming, and unfortunately it's true, but... Um, it, it, it's tarnished West Africa as a whole because there's a lot of great West African people, great Nigerian people and people from Ghana. But um, when you mention those countries, a lot of people just think scam. And that's kind of what they've done if they've caused their countries to become known for scamming instead of good things, which is unfortunate. Um, hi, everybody, for joining us. Thanks, you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, the next question we had was, um, why do so many scammers say their fake profiles are widows? So we see that a lot, right? We see, I'm a widow, dear. 
um basically it's part of the emotional manipulation of a scammer. they want you to feel sad for them, feel sorry for them. so often times they will say they're a widow um their wife died in a car crash, cancer, childbirth, plane accident, gas explosion, that's been coming up a lot um and so what that does is that that builds a platform for you as a victim or as a target victim to feel sorry for this scammer, for this person. oh this poor man he you know he's a widow and he's got a little daughter and he's all alone and uh, I hope I can you know comfort him and maybe we can have a relationship and he can learn to love again and that's what they do it's it's all based on emotions it's based on manipulating your emotions to make you feel sorry for them and that's why they say widow um, you know a lot of them there's a few that'll say divorce or separated but most of them will say widow because it plays on the heartstrings of good people and that's why they do it um, next question we have I met a man online, but not directly. I got a friend request from a woman who said she is his daughter, and the man is very Profile, a female profile and you know it'll be some absurd name and it'll say hi I saw your profile and kind of a new not new but a, a different angle at how they how they try to get to talk to you so they make you think as a victim a target victim oh this poor man you know his daughter's looking for a you know for him and that's so sweet I, I'll talk to him it's another emotional tactic um, and oftentimes what it is is it's the scammer. Um, it's just the scammer pretending to be the daughter the same way they pretend to be a little child. Um, what I tell people is if you're in that situation where a daughter approaches you saying you need to talk to my daddy, the best thing you can do, it's because it's usually going to be a scam is to block the person, but if you want to play, you tell him, well, if he's not man enough to come talk to me, I don't want to talk to him. And then just block him um, and just, just cut him out. And that's just, you know. The best way to do it. Uh, Charmaine, hi from Australia. No questions at the moment, but always appreciate your help. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, good to see you. Uh, Lena, I've learned that five U.S. state scammers, the five U.S. state scammers are from California. Those particular places. And the reason for it is California, everyone knows California. Like if you were to go to a York are, are pretty much the ones that come up because they're well known in um, you know entertainment they're well known in movies everybody knows you know California everybody knows Texas they're, they're popular state movies music but a lot of music a lot of movies a lot of things like that it takes place in Florida Miami you know New York City LA California um, and Texas so that's kind of why they do it and they do Ohio as well Ohio City Ohio California City Arizona City um, the reason for that is because scammers from other countries think that these are main populous big you know towns in the United States so they will say oh, I'm from Texas City Texas and in the scammer's mind, they think that is a major metropolitan, you know, city. It, it is the city, the capital of that state. When in reality, you know, Texas City, Texas, Arizona City, Arizona, are little small towns. Um, but they think in their mind, oh, that's the capital. And they don't. A lot of scammers from certain countries don't understand how capitals work in America. So where. You know, they just think automatically the name of that state, Texas City, that's the capital of Texas. There's millions of people there. And in reality, there's like 800 people that live in that town. So um, it's a red flag to look out for. I mean, there are people that live in California City, um, but it, it's it's not a populous major city in California. It's a it's a rest stop, small desert town. So it's, it's, it's a red flag for sure. It's definitely a red flag. Um, next question we have... Uh, this this has to do with photoshopping. So some pictures have a dark shadow under the chin. So how can we tell if a photo is photoshopped? Um, Anna and myself can look at a photo and go, that's photoshopped. 
And the reason we can is because we've been doing this for almost a decade. So we know what to look out for. But most people, unless it's absurdly badly photoshopped, unless the head is like nine sizes bigger than the body, a lot of people can't tell. The one thing with Photoshop is always look at a photo if it looks off, if it looks grainy, you know, if the body looks clear but the head looks kind of grainy. Um, if you are able to zoom in on that photo and you see a lot of shadowing under the chin or, you know, like a cut line where it looks like maybe it was cut out a little bit, um, that's something to look out for. Those, those are some of the red flags. I mean, it, you can always Google the photo. A lot of times Photoshop photos will come up with the original picture, and that's, that's an answer to your question right there. Um, there are some scammers who are really good at Photoshop, and they do Photoshops, and we think, Wow, that's that's Photoshop, but it's really really good. It depends on the scammer. You know, if you're you're dealing with a, a kid, a, a little cafe boy or a village boy who doesn't know what the hell he's doing, um, that's often the kind that we see that the head's super huge, but the body's real small, or the head is you know there's they have no neck and they're sideways. Those are unprofessional scammers, but there are quite a few that make some really good Photoshop's. But always look look for the look for the graininess, look for the background. Look for shadows. Look for skin tones. Like, is the neck white, but the the head is darker? And, you know, di there's different things to look out for, and those are just a few of them. Uh, John, I've seen them using Janessa Brazil's photos. Cracks me up because she's very confirmed lesbian. She's a nice lady if you ever talk with her. That's true. Uh, Janessa Brazil, Jim Newman, and a lot of these um, people, it, it's kind of funny, and, and I was going to bring this up, and I'm glad you brought this up. Um a lot of scammers will steal photos of people that are lesbian and gay and they use them as straight profiles and it, it's it can be sometimes amusing in a way because for example Jim Newman um, I came across a scammer the other day using Jim Newman's photos and he said he was peacekeeping and he said I'm here with my men in the army Oh, that's my my army captain, and I'm you know it, it's an obviously photo of two gay men hugging, but the scammers have turned it into oh it's my army captain and we're fighting in the army, and so it, it's kind of stupid, but it, it it if you know who the people are in the photos, it's amusing. It can be very amusing. Um, you know, it, it's just they, but they do use a lot of photos of of ladies and gentlemen in the gay community, and it's just um, it's frustrating that people don't. You know, I, I've had ladies that come to me totally infatuated with Jim Newman's photos and say, well, I want to meet the real man because, you know, he, he's, he's gorgeous and I think I could, you know, fall in love with him. And you tell them, well, Jim Newman is not going to fall in love with you, lady, okay? You're, you're, you're the wrong type. And, and they just won't take that answer. So it's, 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 it's frustrating sometimes as well. Hi, Brenda. Good to see you. Much love to you. Anne says hello. She's moderating the chat tonight. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up is... And it's very, it's it's not funny, but it is because, like so we've been doing this for so many years. Um, if you come across a photo of a man, and a lot of a lot of victims bring us these type of photos, and they say, I don't know if he's fake. You have a photo of a man on a profile, and he's wearing the the you know big, I, I call them old lady glasses, or like the big sunglasses, and he's wearing an effeminate scarf like Freddy from Scooby Doo. Um, and he's sipping a glass of wine with his legs crossed and he's, you know, looking very, very dapper, but very effeminate. And, and obviously it's, a, you know, a gentleman that would not be a sniper in Syria. And these scammers will use these photos of these gentlemen who, um, I'll give you an example. Um, some scammers were using a photo of a very famous designer who is very flamboyantly gay and you know wears the beautiful scarfs and the beautiful shimmery clothing and they would send these photos to victims and say oh i'm in syria dear i'm a a sniper paid trained sniper for the army and i'm i'm killing terrorists it comes down to does the photo match what the person is telling you with this man who's wearing a shimmery scarf big sunglasses and a, a beautiful versace blouse uh be shooting and, and snipering in the United, in, in Syria. No. So uh, it comes down to common sense sometimes. If the photo does not match the, the story, it's a red flag. And, and people need to pay more attention to that. And unfortunately, they, they don't. 
Um, hi everybody, just uh, joined us. Sorry if it's freezing. Um, hopefully it'll it'll run a little smoother. Facebook is not the greatest place to do Q and A's anymore. Um, it might be something that we switch over to YouTube next time, just because um, we've had so many issues with Facebook freezing. Um, so bear with me. And um, again, we'll update this and, and um, put it on our YouTube channel after we're done. If if anything freezes or, or messes up, um, we'll try to we'll try to go ahead and um, fix it. Um, Regina, I have two Nigerians messaging me as themselves. One chats to me in French, so difficult to translate. So far, no scamming, and yet hardly message me. You know, it depends. This this is where people get frustrated with me because I tell them. Do you know anybody in Nigeria? Are you friends or do you have connections to Nigerians? Are you relatives with some Nigerians? Or um, It's great to make friends all over the world. Like I, I've made friends from Nigeria, from Ghana, um, but I met them under different circumstances. I didn't meet them at random where they just started messaging me, especially if you've been the victim of a scam. Because what happens sometimes is those scammers will come back as themselves and try to friend you. So it's a red flag when just a random Nigerian guy or, you know, that just starts messaging you out of the random and says, I want to be your friend, um, especially after you were scammed because it, it raises red flags. Your information was given to that person, obviously, um, you know, but and the same token, if you know somebody or you made friends with somebody from that part of the world, it's great. You just need to be careful and make sure you know who they are. Like I said, I'm friends with Nigerians, but I know them through people or I know them because of work or somebody that I knew. It's not just some random guy messaged me and said, let's be friends. So, um, Hi, everyone that's joining us. Uh, hi, Raluca. Good to see you. Hi, Susan. Um, do scammers track you, Elizabeth? Um, they can. They can. We hear this a lot when people say, you know, I blocked a scammer, but he came back and he found my new profile and he did this and that. Some scammers will stalk you, will track you. They'll they'll get your name. They get your basic information. and then they can track you. Um, some of them will send you links to stuff and you click on that link and it's got tracking software on it. So absolutely. Um, there's some scammers that are really good at what they do and they will track you. They will hack your Gmail. They will hack your Facebook. a scammer and not engage with them or play with them or after one confesses to you, with you and they'll never scam again it's part of the scam so it's best to just cut it all off and be done with it and not continue playing with them or toying with the idea that you might be a friend to this person or you might change their life and make their life better or listen to their sob story because it's just playing with fire and it's it's not good so um, next question we have Online job offers asking for your ID. Um, so there's a few things, and this is where it gets tricky. With COVID and things that are going on, a lot of jobs are now doing virtual hiring events. And that's, that's a good thing in a way, but in other ways, scammers have taken advantage of that. So here's the thing. If you are job searching and you come across the job offer and they ask you to upload your ID, don't do it. Any real company that is legit, that wants to hire you, especially one that is in your own town, even though we have COVID and even though we're doing virtual hiring events, you need to take your ID, your social, all of your information, go down to the business, see someone from the HR department, and give them your information that way. Don't ever send um, your ID, your social security, your bank information, anything online. Um, any real company 
is going to ask you to come into their HR department and supply that information. The only time that I know of, and I, I've spoken to a young lady that works in this industry, and she told me this is how it works. The only line that are in the adult industry. So let's talk about that. So if you are thinking of going into the adult industry where you're going to do webcamming or phone entertainment, um, a lot of those companies do ask for your ID sent through online so they can verify your 18. Um, in that case, you should Google the company, double check it and make sure it's legit. Any other time, no, you should not give your ID out, especially on an online job interview. So uh, if you guys are freezing up, I. I don't know what's going on. Everything's kind of smooth on my end. So if it gets worse, um, we can always do a, um, a YouTube Q&A because things seem to work a little bit better there. Got to love the one who claimed they have the bank account info and routing number to pay you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's anything like that. I mean, you... you ID because they can use that to open up fake profiles online and when Facebook asks for the ID to verify they're real bam they got your ID they just verified a profile in your name and depending on how much information they get from you they can use that information to file unemployment benefits they can do online banking they can do all kinds of stuff especially unemployment fraud, um, benefits fraud, all kinds of stuff. They can file taxes. They can do... They ...in your name that you're not even going to know about. So just be very, very careful. Um, Do our Q&As on YouTube instead because Facebook dashboard, it's a new system that they're using to um, because uh, this is just really, 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 really horrible. So um, unfortunately, it's kind of how, how, how YouTube or how Facebook is running nowadays. Um, it's just awful, and I'm just not a fan. So um, we'll go uh, from there. But uh, if you got any questions, we'll answer them in the chat. Uh, I'm trying to get our live stream. It is freezing up a little bit, so bear with me just a minute. I'm going to try to fix this the best I can. Um, it's just completely frozen. So uh, bear with me one moment. There we go. Yeah, Facebook has changed a lot of things now, and it's making it very difficult to stream anymore. Facebook just sucks, period. So um, how to tell if an Instagram, how to tell a fake Instagram and fake Facebook account easily? So a few, I mean, it depends. So with Instagram, here's the thing. People on Instagram, Instagram. I hate Instagram. I'm not on Instagram. Uh, Scamming Scammers Action is on there. We don't use it. With Instagram, look at the followers and following. So if you're talking to a man on Instagram and he is a doctor or a soldier and he's following all women and his followers are all young kids from Nigeria, that's the easy way to tell. Um, if they don't have many posts, they have like 15 photos on there and that's it, not a lot of posts, that's another way to tell. Same with Facebook. If the profile, you know, is just a couple of photos and a couple posts, wallpaper is a flower and you're talking to a big buff soldier and the likes on the uh, Facebook profile are, you know, young Nigerian kids, that's another another um, red flag. Um, and we also have a notes section on our page that will tell you everything to look out for. But a lot of times, you know, widow, one child, I'm in the Army, I'm a military guy, I, you know, I, I'm an oil rig worker, I'm an engineer, I'm a doctor. Those are, those are professions scammers have never changed. So um, it, it's, 
it's just the way it rolls. It's just how they are. So uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Let's see. I scam twice since. Let's block them and delete, and they come back with a different picture. What do I do? The only thing you can do is just keep blocking them. They're going to keep coming back. Um, they're going to keep coming back again and again. They're like cockroaches. You kill one and five more come. I mean, it's just the way it is. You just have to keep blocking. Don't don't engage them. Don't play with them. Don't talk to them. Don't tell them to go to hell. Don't Don't do anything. Just keep blocking. And at some point, it, it may take a while, but at some point, they're going to go ahead and go after somebody else because they're not getting a reaction out of you. So that's the best way to do it. Just continue blocking, ignoring them, and that's what you need to do. Um, next question we had someone asked. It's kind of an interesting one, too. Um, how come when I click on someone's profile picture, nothing, nothing happens? So there's a couple reasons for that. One of the reasons is they have marked their profile picture as private. So when you mark your profile photo as private, or only me, um, when you click on it, uh, when a stranger clicks on it, nothing will come up. It won't come up. It won't tell you any information. There'll be no likes on it. There'll be nothing on it. Um, that's because they have done it as private. Now, if you look at a profile and it says it's locked, we see a lot of these. And the profile says he's a 50-year-old white guy from Miami, Florida, uh, lives in Dallas, Texas, and his profile says it's locked. That tells you that the profile is not from the United States. It is from either one of, the, I think there's nine countries that they have the locked feature, main one being India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Egypt, a lot of the Middle East. They have that locked profile option, but the United States does not. And so when you see a profile that's supposed to be a guy from Miami and it says a locked profile, it's more than likely a scammer from those countries. So it's just something to be aware of. It's something to think about. Uh, Gene, incognito, I started to use, what do you think? Incognito doesn't hurt. I mean, I use it on Google. You know, it keeps your search results private. Um, but... Yeah, if you, I mean, you should put everything to private, whether it's your, your, your Google searches, whether it's your Facebook, everything should be private. Same with Instagram. I know Instagram is fun for a lot of younger people, and they love to post 4,000 photos of themselves on the beach, but in reality, when you do that, you're opening yourself up to become a scammer target where they steal your photos and videos. So, you know, be careful of who follows you, who you follow, and keep your stuff private. And, you know, it'll reduce your chances of being targeted by a scammer. Um, you'd be surprised how many people have their stuff just wide open to the whole world, including videos, which get stolen and then used by scammers. So it's just something to, to keep in mind. I mean, we love to share our lives, but we don't realize who we're sharing them with when we keep everything open like that. Uh, next question. How can I check what the public sees when they look at my profile? So that's great. And Facebook is always changing this. So in the past, we used to be able to go ahead and click on our Facebook, and it, there's an option if you go to your Facebook that says View As. And if you click the View As, it'll show you what people see as a stranger, not as your friend. Um, then you can go into Settings and Security and Privacy, and that's a great way to look and see um, what is set up. So make sure your stuff is locked. Make sure your albums are locked down to Friends Only or Only Me. Make sure your posts, your public, your posts are not public. So the only thing you should really have public on your Facebook is your wallpaper, which you cannot hide, and your profile photo, which you can set to only me or friends only, so that people can't click on it and see who's writing on it. And that's what you need to do. Um, too many people leave all their stuff open. I came across one lady's profile the other day who was a scam victim, and she said, "Can you check my profile for me?" And she had her name, address, work address, phone number, her kids linked on there, her family, her everything. I mean, you could see her whole life. It would be like putting a camera on her and following her around all day. And I told her, you need to lock down your profile. A lot of people don't, and they don't realize who's looking at it. I mean, it's, it's like having your front door open and letting anybody that you want to come in and look. That's what it's like when you leave your profile open like that. So take the time, lock down your profile, Facebook. minutes of your time to lock your profile down rather than spend years trying to take down fake 
profiles that are using your photos. So, um, yeah, too many people share lives. They share pictures of their kids, and oh, this is little Timmy's fifth birthday, and they put 400 photos of Timmy with his cake, and then a scammer steals them all, and pretty soon your kid is being used all over the world as a, a pawn in a scam game. So, it's something definitely to think about. Enjoy social media, but use it smart. Uh, next question we have. I met a man on POF, Plenty of Fish. We started chatting on WhatsApp. When I asked him if he has Facebook, he said he doesn't. When I look for him on there, nothing comes up. But when my son looks for him on his profile on there, I found the guy. What does it mean and why would he block me? They do this. So if you meet a man on a, a social dating site like, say, Plenty of Fish or Match, he will tell you, oh, no, I don't, I don't have social media. What these people do is... that Facebook profile to scam other people and they don't want you to find their Facebook profile so that you'll know they're talking to other women or men or whatever um, so they do that but you know they, they'll block you but they don't know your son other victims that they don't want you to know about so while they're romancing you they're romancing someone they met on Facebook and they've blocked you for that reason um, if that's the case, then you should block him, especially if he had you go to WhatsApp um, right off of Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish is just a breeding ground for um, some pretty dangerous scammers. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of scammers on all dating sites, but the ones you find on Plenty of Fish and on Match tend to be a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more um, knowledgeable in what they do. So. Keep that in mind. You know, if you're talking to someone on a dating site and they want you to go to WhatsApp right away or Hangouts, block them. If they can't talk to you on the site, and if they say to you, oh dear, I'm not always on the site due to the nature of my job, block them. It's going to be a scammer every single time. Uh, next question we had. Why do so many scammers using fake profiles put they are from a place like Malta? but live in, say, Miami, or from Germany, but live in Texas? I notice this a lot. It's a good question. So they do it for a main reason. The main reason is their voice, their accent. So if you're talking to a man who says he's from Malta, and he lives in Miami, and you call him on the phone, he's going to have an accent. And more times than not, the accent is West African, or from India, or wherever. But he's going to tell you, well, dear, I, I grew up in Malta, but my parents were from France, and I went to school in Latvia, but I, I live in the state now. And that's that's what my accent is. And the reality is, it's a it's a West African accent, or it's a you know, Nigerian, it's a Ghana accent. Um, they do this to use it as an excuse, so when they do have to voice chat with you, that accent comes through, and you don't think nothing of it, because you're thinking in your head... Oh, well, he's from Malta. He, he, he grew up in Malta, and I've never talked to somebody from Malta, so that's that must be what they sound like. Oh, it's fine. Um, and that's it's just a cover-up for their accent. Uh, we tell people all the time, you know, go on YouTube and Google, or go on YouTube and search a Nigerian man speaking, a man from Togo speaking, a man from India speaking, and listen to the accent, the pronunciation of the words, so that you can identify a person from those countries when you're chatting online to somebody. Um, you know, over the years, Anna and myself have talked to so many people from scammers from all over the world and so many different parts of Africa. And, you know, someone from Kenya sounds very different from someone from, you know, Liberia. Um, but we're able to identify those accents because. Google, Google what you know someone from Ghana sounds like, and how, and listen to what they say. You'd be surprised how many people actually do that, and they say, "Oh my gosh, I'm not talking to a man from Germany. I'm talking to a man from West Africa." So it's something to, to try. It saves you the trouble of and the, the the wasted time talking to a scammer. Uh, next question we had: Why do fake profiles ask me to friend them? telling me that they tried to friend me, but it didn't work. When you create a Facebook profile, especially a new one, if you start sending out lots of friend requests,
with a flag and it says, oh, we noticed you're fronting a lot of people. We want to verify your profile. And so they ask for ID. Um, that's why scammers now are asking you to send them friend requests to their fake profiles so they don't get flagged. Uh, so, so often now they're saying things like, I tried to send you a friend request here, but it failed to work. And that's, that's the only reason. If someone asks you to do that, it's very, very likely a scammer, especially if they say to you, oh, it failed to go through, dear. It's a scammer, and he doesn't want to risk losing his fake profile by having 20 friend requests going out. If you receive friend requests, it doesn't tend to tag and flag your profile. But if you send a bunch out and you're a new profile, you're getting, you're getting flagged. So. I delete all friend requests and messages from people I don't know. I do the same. Um, and also, a lot of people don't know to check their others inbox on Facebook. There's an others inbox, and that's where a lot of scammers' um, friend requests and messages end up. So, Beverly, I love Betty Chats and her sister. Thank you. We'll be doing some more Betty Chats uh, coming up pretty soon um, with some help. We're going to try to get some some new fresh characters in if we can do it. Um, and then Adriana has been helping us as well. You know, as you know, she spends the money on, on her handbags. So um, we'll be doing some more Betty Chats um, for the holiday season. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys watching our channel. Uh, next question we have. Um, why? It's a good one. Why does Facebook keep making threats to delete your scam page? They do. We get flagged every week. Um, Facebook, as you know, is corrupt as hell. Um, they hate anti-scam pages. They hate any kind of page that educates you on how to stay safe. Um, one of the main reasons that, you know, they, they try to delete our page is because we educate people on how to stay safe. They consider it bullying the criminal. They say we're bullying the scammer uh, when we raise awareness about scammers. So figure that one out. Facebook is extremely corrupt. Uh, they absolutely support. But those pages are targeted as well by Facebook. So it's just the way it is. It's, it's Facebook corruption. So it's kind of how they work. Thank you so much for your education and guidance on the lookout for scammers. in the room etc he sent to me straight away yes there are real friends on Facebook just have to be very careful thanks that is awesome I'm glad to hear that Rosie um, there are real people on Facebook and and myself met through Facebook um, it's just that you know there's a ton of scammers so you know you did the right thing you asked this person to take photos of this and to do this and the video chat and the person video chatted with you so absolutely I mean on paper and hold it up while on video they will do it a fake person will not a scammer will not so that's just kind of how it is um, but you did definitely do the right thing and I hope that uh, it works out Certain political groups, they're very prejudiced against people educating about scammers. They, they don't s swing through the middle. They just kind of take sides with stuff. And, and you know, especially with... Um, us all the time the thing with our page is we we have a dashboard that tells us who reports us and what so it's kind of cool because we're we're registered as a business so when someone reports our our posts we know who it is we know what they did and why they did it and the comments they made towards facebook about it so it's kind of kind of interesting to see who reports us um 
Yeah, Elizabeth, we're going to do another Q&A on, on YouTube because um, this will probably be my last Q&A on Facebook. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over to YouTube from now on because it really it's really lagging pretty bad. How can anyone be bullying the scammers? Scammers are the bullies. You're right, Dolores, but unfortunately, Facebook says we bully scammers by exposing their fake profiles and their email addresses. So, <laughs> I've been in Facebook jail. I, I got popped last month in Facebook jail for posting a photo of a mummy saying it's almost Halloween time. So... We're all going to end up in another dimension of social media pretty soon. Facebook is kind of a sinking ship, if you ask me. So, uh, Next question we have um, is about Facebook that someone asked. Do you think with Facebook changing their name that they will update their security features to keep us safe from scammers? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think they're going to keep anyone safe. Um, they can change their name. They can change it to Scambook. But uh, Facebook is kind of becoming very seedy, um, very dangerous place to be. It's not fun anymore. You have to watch what you think and say and post. So um, it's just, yeah, I don't think they are. And that's how dumb Facebook is. I've been in Facebook jail several times for a long period of time. And it allows scammers to make 10 profiles. Yeah, it's 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 kind of one-sided. Um For me, but unfortunately, um, you know, it's come to a point where it's like we all. Um, the man I'm talking to online asked me to video chat right away. He doesn't show himself on cam, but he asked me within a few minutes of chatting to show myself because he said he'd been scammed before. Would a scammer do this? Yes. Really good scammers will make you video chat with them. Their camera will be black. They'll they'll cover their camera or keep it off. But they want to make sure you're real so they don't waste their time with a scam baiter or with someone that's not who they say they are. So really, really, really professional good scammers, they ask you to video chat within minutes or they will just start calling you at random and want you to pick up the phone or pick up the video. If you don't do it, they end up scream and yell and go, oh, I'm going to block you, you're a scammer, I'm reporting you. Those are those are Yahoo boys. Those are genuine Yahoo boys who do that. They don't want to screw around and waste their time. So. It's a red flag when they do stuff like that. Mark Zuckerberg should be held accountable. I agree, but he won't be. Money talks in this world, doesn't it? Um, next question we have... Are you seeing more and more Bitcoin investment scams than romance scams? Mm, yes, it, it, we're seeing more Bitcoin scam victims. Um, scammers are still doing romance scams, but a lot of them now are using Bitcoin. And they're saying you can invest money in Bitcoin, you can do this, do that. And that's the new um, the new scam. And they, they send you websites and fake investment portfolios and say that you've, you know, you've invested $500, you've won $10,000 doing this investment um, and that's that's how they work um, unfortunately it's happening a lot um, we're having more and more people fall for Bitcoin scams so I've been in Facebook seven times for defending people by scammers yeah um, when I first started working in the scam field um, anyone remember prodigy prodigy I remember the band the prodigy <laughs> Uh, when I first started working in this field of dealing with scammers, my, my personal profile was reported to Facebook, and I had to show my passport, and I had to do it like 16 times in a year. Uh, so it's it's very one-sided when it comes to helping people. And unfortunately, you know, it, it's you, know, you want to help people, you want to do the right thing, but Facebook wants to help scammers, and that's just kind of how they, how they are. So we have uh, one more question that was written into us, um, and then we may jump over to YouTube shortly and do a Q&A over there just because uh, this really, Facebook is really lagging. Uh, the next and last question we have is, the man I'm talking to online uploaded a new photo yesterday. He said he's wearing a wedding ring. 
He said it's in honor of his dead wife who died giving birth on her way to the market in a gas explosion. Is he real? No. So a lot of <laughs> a lot of scammers uh, steal photos of married men, and they don't Photoshop out the ring or anything in their hands. So when a keen eye victim sees that there's a man, the man in the photo has a ring, scammers will often say, I wear that in honor of my dead wife. It just means that it's a stolen photo of a married man that they're using. And honest to God, and I know people do lose their spouses, I know it's really tragic, and I know it's hard, and I know you do honor the dead, but if you're talking to a man online who's still wearing his wedding ring, but now looking for a new wife because his just died, something's very wrong. So, um... Just remember, if you you know talking to a man online in his photos, you notice he's wearing a wedding ring. Ask questions, and see what he says. And if he says it's to honor his dead wife, that's a red flag because a lot of scammers say that. Uh, Stacy, what about the ones saying you win? So there's a lot of fake profiles out there saying you've won. Um, you know, there's uh, the diesel mechanic guy. There's Ellen. There's Oprah. There's across their fake Facebook page. Um, a real verified page, when you hover over it with your mouse or tap the blue circle with your phone, a little box will come up saying verified. That's a real profile. Um, a lot of times... It, celebrities aren't giving away stuff. And they're not, they're not having you call them on Hangouts or call them on, you know, a special phone line. So it's something to remember. No no celebrities are giving you free things, and no celebrities need your help. So they're all scams, every last one of them. And unfortunately, a lot of scammers that do that type of scam are from Indonesia. A lot of Indonesian scammers do the fake Ellen giveaways. So just keep that in mind. Teresa, I've been threatened by scammers. They can use every curse one, but not me. they've lived in for 30 years because a scammer threatened them you know um, just know that it's it, it's just fake threats you know you're talking to probably a 15 year old kid in Nigeria he's uh, they used to, yeah Ellen's really big right now someone is using my name on 321 I had to prove I was 52 Ever been on bottled it is like a mecca for for scammers um betty my character betty is on bottled and i get no less than 50 bottles a day from fake profiles so it, it's epidemic no matter what what platform you're on um and it's just going to unfortunately continue to be that way so but if you guys have any questions um i'm happy to answer them otherwise i'm going to close out this q a what i'm going to do um i will do an announcement when i'm going to be on youtube and we'll do a Q&A on YouTube uh, going forward because Facebook doesn't seem to be working the way it should. Um, I'm very unhappy with the lag time on it. Um, I have a really good internet connection. I actually pay for a super fast internet um, extra and I have a great camera. So um, I think it's just Facebook lagging really badly. So what we're gonna do is we'll close this Q&A for now. Um, if you guys need help, you can inbox us on our page, and then I will do an announcement when I go on YouTube, and we'll do a Q&A on YouTube because I think it would be um, more beneficial, and pretty much everyone's on YouTube. You know our page is, on YouTube is Scamming Scammers, so um, we'll go ahead and do that, but um, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming out to our Q&A on here. Uh, like I said, going forward, we'll do them on YouTube from now on. And if you have any questions, inbox us. Otherwise, I'll close this out for October. Um, I hope to see you guys over on our YouTube channel soon. And if not, happy Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Halloween's spooky season's here. So I uh, wish you guys a happy Halloween. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy. And we will see you guys over on YouTube soon. I'll, I'll announce on this page when we're going to YouTube, and we'll do a Q&A from there. And we'll have chat. So thank you, guys. Stay safe. Much love to you. If you need help, you can find us on our inbox. You guys take care and we'll...